Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to sort out the Astra GTE Digi Dash, also called the Monza Dash or the Cadet Dash. So, this is the very back of the board, and this is the white plug that I'm going to be testing. So, negative is brown wire, positive is black wire. Turned on. Beautiful. I think it's actually the best bit is just turning it off and on. So I've told that even before what the two numbers here mean, but um, it's lovely. So there's your volts, oil, water temperature, fuel gauge, revs, and then speed up here, and then analog for counting, but it's a digital signal that comes in. So I'm just going to go through all the wires because there's loads of wires here. So we did the positive and negative. So now blue and white, so it's blue with a white tracer. And I'm going to attach this just to the negative. And we're going to watch the battery gauge. So that's battery on, battery off. On, it doesn't flash, it's just on and off. So that's the alternator. Okay, great, next one. So next wire now is gray and green. So I'm gonna give that positive and you should hear a relay touching or clicking. So there's actually a second gray and green and if you push it, touch it, everything comes back. So I think there should be a resistor probably on this one, a variable resistor. So you can go from really dark to really bright and then every grade in between. So you just turn on a variable resistor and that'll make it brighter or darker. So that's for driving at night time. This is during driving during daytime. So I actually think I'm just not gonna connect that one at all and just leave it illuminated because I think it looks actually too nice to cover up. It's okay, next one. Okay, so next wire is blue with a black tracer. And that should be your fuel gauge. So I'm going to connect this to my negative. Just hold it on like that. You should start seeing something happening. Okay, so that's the fuel gauge now coming up. So you can see it. They've actually sneakily done it. They've it's actually every actually two bars is actually a gauge so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so there's gonna be twelve sections so the top i actually thought originally it was just these little bars at the top so the tank was divided into four but no it's actually divided into twelve i think when you get down to the second say like the middle one of the last bar that's when the light for the fuel gauge starts to light up so I actually thought there was actually two little gauges that had to be inside the tank, but no, it's all connected to the one. So that's now just the wire disconnected, and um, it's actually just dropping it by itself. Okay, and now it's after dropping down to the last bar, and we're flashing it to refuel. Great. So next on the list is all blue, which is water temperature. Again, I'm going to touch this to negative. There we are, full negative, and warning us that it, we're overheating, and let go, and everything's okay again. So obviously this is going to work in resistance, so like, as you put in a resistor in between the two of them, or a water temperature gauge, it'll vary your temperature as the resistance varies. So that's what that one does, so it's checking how close we are to ground. So for all the way earthed or negative. Yeah, it's gonna warn us that we're overheating. And it's gonna flash. Print. So next on the list is oil pressure. So that's going to be this one here, which is blue and yellow, or blue with a yellow tracer. And we're gonna ground that as well. So currently we're at happy pressure. And um, if you're driving along and you burst your sump or something and you run out of oil pressure or oil that's not good
Okay, great. I don't seem to be able to get the warning light on. Okay, on to the next wire. So the next wire is blue with a green tracer. I just have extensions on these because that's just the way they were. So that should be oil pressure light. So when we ground that, it comes on. Okay, that's your oil pressure light. And this is your actual bars of pressure, I think, or your oil temperature. It's either one or the other. I think it can be wired either way. So this one here is your oil light. These ones here are your oil pressure. So when you first crank your engine, you have no oil light. This is your oil light or your oil pressure light that you generate pressure with. And this is your how much you've generated it by. That's the difference between your oil light and your oil pressure light. So this green wire is for your rev counter, which I can display by turning it back on. And then this uh, blue with a red tracer is for your speedo. So it'll tell you. This knob here, you can turn it and you can change from kilometers to miles. We'll go back to kilometers again. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to look at the black plug at the back. So I have it wired up just for two lights at the moment. So brown is constant negative. Black is constant positive. Brown and white is the handbrake. That's the handbrake on. And yellow and white is to show that you've dash lights on. So now let's look at the next set of wires. So the next one on the list is this all white one. So there's an extra extension which is just end up as being blue. So we're going to positive that. Now you can see the full beam light coming on. So the next one is black and white. And that's the left indicator. Next is green and black, which is the right indicator. Parking brake only works with ignition on and handbrake, which is the black, which is the brown and white. So black and brown and white only makes the handbrake come on. For all the others, the individual wire could be put to positive. So there aren't any wires there yet, but I'm going to put this one here as my running low on brake fluid. So that's going to be parking brake and running low on brake fluid. Then on the far side, so on this side here, I just have a torch in underneath it, but there's a engine warning light, and I'm going to probably wire that up for um, running low on coolant. So if I run low on coolant, there's a hole in the radiator. This one here will light up to show engine, and um, I think that's the easiest way of doing it. So the auxiliaries in this that aren't used, this one here is ABS, choke, seatbelt, and on the other side, it's towing hook, engine light, or engine management, or CEL, CEL, so check engine light, and I think the last one was glow plug. So you have glow plug in this side, and choke in this side. So there you have it guys, that's how I'm going to wire up my dash. So guys, if you like these videos and you want to see more of this dash, uh, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Support me in PayPal in the link below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.